Hi friends, welcome to the next episode of Learn Loadrunner series. In this video, we are going to see about call stack in Loadrunner. I'm not sure how many of you uh, are aware of the uh, one of the debugging uh, uh, pane called call stack. So if you're not uh, um, sure about what is call stack and what's the purpose, this is the video for you guys. So to enable call st stack pane, uh, you need to go to view and go to debug and select call stack. So call stack pane will help you to uh, debug your script uh, if you have multiple actions or multiple functions and it will display the call stack in your script. So this is a, a read only uh, feature and also it will works only during the uh, debugging session which means the script should be in the pause status during recording or during runtime you will not be able to see any details in the call stack pane so to understand what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, execute this script step by step and then we will see what's going on in the call stack pane so just uh, hit f10 so this is a very simple script i have created uh, which has the typical action and uh, once the uh, script is in the uh, debug uh, mode, what you can do is you can enable the call stack and uh, just uh, click on the call stack uh, pane. So here you can see uh, there are three columns. Uh, all the three columns are read only. The first column is function name, which means the current uh, function or action and the uh, file name, so where is the, uh, what is the path of the uh, file name and the line number. So in which line the debugging pointer is being uh, highlighted. So right now the line is at uh, third line in the vuser underscore init. Now I'm going to navigate to next step. So once you click on next step, it is going to the action and it is highlighting the line number five. So now in the call stack, you can see the respective function name as action and the file name, the path and the line number five. And if you keep going, you are uh, uh, step by step execution you can see the line number is changing and then once the particular action is done with the execution it will go to the next action so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new action okay so just right click on the actions and uh, create a new action so in the new action i'm going to call the previous action okay now we will see what we uh, uh, what it will display in the call stack pane so just uh, hit f10 so once it is in the debug uh, mode you can see the call stack information so just to click on call stack and now it is highlighting in the init so we're going to next action so the current context is action and it is executing so once it is done it will go to the action one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F10 here. So right now you can see there are two call stack information. One is the action, the current uh, highlighting stuff and uh, uh, the next action one, which has been called. So if you pr keep pressing the uh, F10, it will execute the action and then it will go to the action one. And then this line number th three has been executed that is why it is going to line number five now it will go to user end and then it will uh, display the uh, run results summary so this is the purpose of the call stack so if you have multiple actions or multiple functions you can see those details in the call stack pane so i hope this video is pretty useful if you have a time please go to my next video otherwise thanks for listening have a great day thank you Thank you.